This place gave me a gave me a home when I was going through a really difficult period of time. As many experienced isolation and other effects of the pandemic, the White Bear Center for the Arts made sure it provided the comfort and community its members have relied upon for decades. We knew that the Arts Center fills a very specific a spiritual and healing need for people and you're you're alive when you're practicing art you know um, so we were all looking for art especially in those early days what are we going to do to keep our lives going and, and feel afloat the studio coffee which meets here every friday it's a free artist to artist uh, opportunity to to show your work and to get that feedback they didn't miss a week they were on zoom by before any other class and it was just immediately we can't stop this we got to keep going and so having that energy from students who wanted it to still participate, we actually we developed new models that I don't think we would have thought of otherwise. We did these hybrid classes where a portion of it was done on Zoom and a portion of it was pre-recorded. And that was something that students suggested and uh, worked really well. The center, which was started in 1968, has grown exponentially ever since, requiring a bigger space and getting one here in the state-of-the-art facility with open areas inside and out. Uh, ceramic and other kinds of sculpture and the, the rocks will allow for really high heat and pouring and splashing and things like that. There are so 1,000 classes taught here every year including drawing, dance, painting and clay taught by 120 artists. Starting with a small base with too much inside pressure because your wall will end up. And during the pandemic when the center was closed they were able to expand without disruption building gallery space to accommodate demand. Uh, I think that was a very uh, fortuitous and fortunate timing uh, for everyone because uh, had it happened any other time, we would have had to turn people away from their art center and that's about the most heartless thing you can do. <laughs> artist in residence Sing Lee among immigrant began focusing on art in high school. Most, most of the messages are located over there. Um, and now he's focusing on working with youth, giving them a professional experience yeah, at the center where he exhibits his work. Lee was compelled by the pandemic to create Renew, an installation celebrating the Hmong New Year, inviting people to leave messages on Joss paper to be burned in a ceremony this December, symbolic of shedding past energies and making space for future fortunes. Some people sign their name. A concept running parallel to the values of the center. I think it's been something that has, you know, really literally plagued us for the last couple of years. And I think, um, you know, the work, you know, the work in particular that I did is, is really, you know, it pays respect to what's happened, but also looks forward um, to the possibilities of where we can, you know, go um, as an organization, as a community, you know, as a state and as a nation too, um, where that, you know, we know not get, we might, it might not be the conversation, you know, the idea might not be as large as that, but I want to you know, make work that includes into that conversation. Featuring artists like Lee, who exhibit community-oriented work, makes sense, the center being built on community and donor support. It raises more than half a million dollars each year from individuals, grants, and support from more than 40 local businesses, which allows for free events, exhibits, scholarships, and reduced fees for classes. So without those contributions, simply nothing would happen. And, and because there's been decades of community support building on community support, that's why we're, we are where we are now. And I think um, everyone should be able to enjoy it too because the next 50 years are gonna be even brighter because we have this space now, so. The center boasts 1,300 members and 200 volunteers and though the building provides a welcoming space for many, Hudson acknowledges it's the people who make it meaningful. It's just a building without that. As we learned all those years ago, you know, whether it's Masonic Lodge or the um, City Hall, it didn't matter where. It was what the artists bring and share and um, teach us that makes it that if, if you special. End up, that's, you that's the special sauce. <laughs>